Next, we will begin with the assembly of the Z table. Take one of the side plates and attach it to the back plate. Do so with the other side as well. Once these are in position, take the top plate. You'll know it's the top plate because it will line the holes on the top and bottom plate and the flanges will face upwards. Place it gently in until it stops. Then flip it over and repeat the procedure at the bottom plate. Again, you'll know it's aligned correctly because the hole on the bottom plate and the back plate will align and the flanges will face upwards. Once these are in place, take the Z table support plate and place it so that the holes are in line with the holes of the bottom and top plates. It's often easiest to swing out parts of the side plate and then slide them into place. Once these are together, take the middle spar and place it by placing it next to its location and twist it. Clamp it together. Careful not to apply too much force. Once everything is together, insert screws and tighten. Once that is done, you will need to place the Z table top plate from above and secure it with six 32 screws.